everyone's had the chance to have their say, that's good. But, um, I mean, if we can get something like this organised, if we can sort of generate uh, more people, if any of us can try and get what friend come along, we'll double that number, won't we? <laughs> you know, what I started, when, I started, when we started the meeting, my concern is that we have run these meetings and we get the same faces, you know, and that's good, I'm very pleased to see the same faces, but I'd like to see sort of double the number, then double the number, you know, the, the issues on that we know are, are that great. I do think we, we, we can tell each other all the, you know, when we, which we know the situation, but we've got to be telling our neighbours, haven't we? When we hear someone talking about the economic crisis, we've got to point out that this is a load of crap that, that after the war, the, the economic crisis, if that was an excuse, if that was used as an excuse then, we wouldn't have the health service, we wouldn't have Harlow, we wouldn't have housing, you know, the economic situation then was used to do things, to ge generate employment, to generate housing, to generate the, the, the health service, to, to nationalise the railway, you know, all that was part of us getting out of that economic crisis. And if, if we don't, if we don't tell our neighbours when they mention things like the economics and, and the, if we don't tell, who the hell's going to? So, right. <laughs> I don't like to abuse the, the, the privilege of the chair sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, thanks for coming along. Yes. But uh, we will try and get this demonstration yes. organised. Yeah. Did you want to? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. yeah. Well, we'll we'll carry on. Tom, carry on from that. Um, yeah, I mean, defend council housing and what has moved on to the housing emergency. You know, the, um, fights back with private landlords and everything else. You know, we do hear from time to time. We, you know, DCH and I've done meetings up down the country. We've had national meetings, and we do hear about the private landlords. You know, and, and the the inadequate um, electricity, gas supplies. You know, or, or where they put extensions on, gas mains, collapses, and all, all sorts of crazy things. You know, and, and the short-term tenancies. I know that personally myself. My daughter has moved, I think, five times in nearly as many years. You know, from private landlords. Uh, you know, absolutely horrendous. You know, the only way to stop that, you know, is to build council housing. You know, and then effectively, you know, as people move out, then they buy a let. You know, people. Like, I don't feel sorry for them, really. You know, um, you know, we can take them those houses back as well. Um, yeah, as, as, as already, yeah, as has already been said. You know, the guy said, you know, gentleman there, you know, um, sitting pretty, you bought your house. You know, but in the long term, you'll pay for your care. Your grandchildren now, because of you know, the the, the um, building societies and the banks have made so much money out of this, and wanted you know, the the house prices to increase. You know, which effectively led to the crash, you know, that effectively moved on, on, on to the, you know, the financial crisis that, that we've got now. You know, but, but, but they can't afford to live anywhere anyway. You know, their children are grandchildren, and there's as much need, you know, of a social uh, council housing as ever. Um, yeah, we have worked with, with the Labour Party and, and with Rob and Bob, you know, we have uh, regular meetings four or five times a year down the pub. <laughs> but um, we do sort things out and, and you know, we work out strategy, you know, as, as I said with, with this um, consultation you know, that went ahead with, 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 with the Conservatives in the town, there was not, not one Labour uh, representative there, nor did you know, the Labour Party know anything about, about that, that, that meeting, you know, and, and what come out of that and, and, and what they said they're going to do. You know, and Simon Carter and I was choosing the tenant for and tried to play that down and tried to tell people it was a totally different um, consultancy, you know, which I had the proof there, you know, and I said it there and then. Um, yeah, yeah, we do need to do that. If you can get those uh, petitions filled in, or bring them up, you know, I think the Saturday after Easter, up, up the town centre, 11.30 in our usual place, I, th I think we can build that. You know, we'll, um, we'll, we'll probably build um, a cardboard um, house thing and, and we'll, have, we'll have all the boards, we'll have the megaphone up there, we'll have the petitions, okay, because it will be coming up to the election. We'll be telling everybody about the localism bill, you know, and, and how that will, will affect everybody, because there's still a lot of people out there that don't know, you know, and um, it is a national housing crisis. Um, 
Yeah, but also, as Jacob said, you know, we're, we're, all, we're all in this together. You know, um, we've seen, you know, since um, the localism consultancy and public meetings that we've had, I think there hasn't the last six or seven weeks, there hasn't not been a letter or two in the local paper, you know, about council housing. So we have brought it to the fore, but unfortunately this week the game in there, 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 there is a letter that was put, on, put, in, put in there but by a woman, you know, blaming immigrants for the housing shortage, you, you know. So uh, again, we have to put another letter in there, you know, and we, we, know, we know what the answer is. So um, we see out of town, yeah, on, on the Saturday after Easter, and you know, and we build this. You know, don't let it go away. Tell your neighbours, okay. Tell your friends. Tell your, tell your workmates. You know exactly what's happening, okay. So you know, I thank you for coming.